A sustained crackdown on the forces of the military has forced uh, thousands to surrender to troops in the northeast. But elsewhere, bandits are carrying out even more daring attacks. A report by a private intelligence company says 559 persons were abducted in July. Sifon Isian reports. Growing concerns about the state of security in Nigeria. An attack on the country's premier military training facility that claimed the lives of at least two officers has been described as the most daring yet by bandits. While the military authorities say troops are on the trail of bandits, the impact of the attack has left residents of Kaduna, particularly those in Afaka, in shock. Schools in the state that have suffered most from the abduction of students remain closed until the security situation improves. On Monday, troops rescued 15 commuters after they were kidnapped in Jama'a local council area. But other kidnapped victims in the state, most of them students, have spent more than 40 days in captivity. In neighboring Niger state, it was cheering news for the families of the Tegina kidnapped victims. 92 of them regained freedom after two months in captivity. A report on the state of security in the month of July by Beacon Consulting, a private intelligence company, indicates that 16 persons were kidnapped in the north central region of the country. Five of the victims were taken in Niger State. In the northwest, 483 were kidnapped. Zamfara State witnessed the kidnap of at least 160 persons, that's in July alone. Borno State in the northeast witnessed the kidnap of two traveling soldiers out of a total of four kidnap cases. In the wake of a sustained offensive by troops in the state that has witnessed some of the worst attacks by insurgents, more than 1,000 Boko Haram members and their families have surrendered to troops. In the south-south, Edo State witnessed the kidnap of 33 persons out of a total of 49 cases. The southeast recorded no kidnap incident, according to the report, but 53 persons lost their lives due to activities of unknown gunmen. The Southwest recorded seven kidnap incidents. Kabir Adamu is a CEO of the intelligence company. Uh, yeah, if there is a 39% reduction um, in any ramification, it's uh, progress. Um, but we also argued that uh, is that progress sustainable? And we said no. In Plato State, recent conflicts have claimed the lives of more than 50 people. The epicenter of the conflict that forced the state government to impose a 24-hour curfew is just not local council. It has emerged that there are many unreported cases of killings happening almost daily. These killings are taking place and they have become a vicious cycle of one group kills, another takes reprisal, another takes counter reprisal, and it goes on and on and on and on. It, number one, it is not right for any citizens to be killed in their homeland. Number two, it is not right for any citizen, citizens to be killed on the roads. We have had all kinds of approaches, including peace building approaches, so that people will walk together, so that people will live together. Sometimes these have worked, but if you allow the few who believe in violence and bloodletting, including the very poisonous religious preachers who will preach, preach hate and incite the people to kill other people. If we allow them to continue, right now what is happening after these killings is that some people are inciting and engineering for their killings. Efforts by the authorities to contain the situation are yielding little results. Sadly, we have had toxic identities emerging by way of people seeing themselves as either ethnic categories or religious categories, or regional categories, or by some kind of mundane identity that is not complementary to the, to the Nigerian state. And so needlessly, we have seen our people turn against each other, fight each other, uh, kill each other, for one excuse or the other. According to the report by Beacon Intelligence, the evolving security challenges are the result of a further collapse of social order and the yawning distrust between government and citizens. The weak institutions, 
the ineffective uh, and inefficient criminal justice system at failing to uh, arrest and punish offenders. Uh, we can't go beyond that. Those are the reasons. Motor security forces are tackling the security challenges through the use of force. These professionals believe the efforts should be complemented by emplacing good governance. See Fon ACN, TVC News, Abuja.